Dog, I'm to the bumbo clap, my jelly brother. Yo, top. Dog, my yo. My, my kia, bumbo clap thing, you know, dog. Not here, so me nah give you bun, Keisha. Keisha, me nah give you bumbo clap. Pussy, puppy, 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 puppy. Que pasa, sa, pa, say, what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the med scarlet news with a buzz. The video that you saw at the start of this, this is what we call a toxic relationship. That is a relationship in which somebody feels slighted, felt as if their man is giving them bun, so therefore they decide that the only solution to stop this is to come in the house, break up all of the furniture, broke up all of the glass them, pretty much a demolition derby in other people and place. All because she feel like this man is giving her bun. Then this man, all he is saying, me nah give no sorts of bun. So therefore, I guess he expected this lady for kind of calm down. Now here's a problem. Whenever you pick up anybody that have anger management problem, that have jealousy problem, have obsessive problem, or just pick up a next piece of ish just like themselves. Like they say, a leopard never changes its spot. So therefore, if you pick up a man we are gonna give you a bun, that is all that you can get. You can get angry, you can flare up, you can rail up. However, it is not going to change until you change your mindset. That means uh, pick up somebody, get in some sort of relationship with somebody that is not going to give you bun. Because it is not everybody that can sit down and watch somebody demolish them whole house and just act like nothing happened. It is all fun and game and all sorts of scatelina relationship until somebody gets hurt or until somebody gets D-E-A-D-I-N-G. When you see a woman or a man react like that, you know that that person has a serious anger management problem. Just imagine if that person could do that when they are angry to the furniture. Just imagine what they would do to the girl that you are allegedly cheating with or even you when you are fast asleep. Maybe she might slash off your little tealy and fling it in the bush. Moral of the story is this. Don't start no ish, won't be no ish. Get somebody that you're compatible with. Do not cheat. If you know say you can't take bun, do not cheat. If you know say you are the type of person that if you're cheated on, you're going to get angry, maybe hurt somebody, maybe even K-I-L-L, -L, that person and them side chick. Like me say, start no ish, won't be no ish. Point blank and period. Further on in the news, Jamaica is such a reactive place instead of a proactive place. And until somebody gets hurt, it is all fun and game. Until people get injured or people get dead. I am speaking about a couple of videos that are making their rounds on social media. One of those videos is about a minute long, the next one maybe about six and a half minutes. It is said to have been taking place in a Savlamar that is in Westmoreland, where a man, tall structure, his name is Reggie, was seen with a couple big stone and a sharp stick in his hand. While he was there posing with these stone, and a whop of a people, one man confronted him, man of big structure, kind of thick, kind of muscular. He decided that he wanted to be a hero, or he wanted to make sure that he kind of met this youth, restrained this youth. He was not so fortunate, he tackled the youth, however, he ended up on the S-H-I-T-T-Y end of the stick. That man that is said to be of unsound mind, people call them madman, more than likely homeless, more than likely he missed a couple of his medication, so therefore he needed to be restrained. Like I said, a thick brown man tried to tackle him, restrain him, did not work. That man was damaged, all sorts of slit in him, eye in him, face, all sorts of B-L-O-O-D. 
Reggie walked away with a couple of big stones on him same stick in him and sharp object. Same time when the poor poor pulled up on the scene, maybe it is coincident, maybe bad timing for Reggie. The poor poor realized that there was some sort of conflict between that man and Reggie. And they tried to restrain Reggie. Reggie was walking away, walking back and forth, walking backward with the two big stones and the stick in him on. The poor poor were walking behind him, slowly, pace by pace. People were scattering, people were laughing. It was as if it was some sort of amusing movie. The poor poor waited until the opportune time when Reggie was probably not looking and probably trying to surprise him. Jump on him. As soon as he jumped on that man, that man started to flick off the man, push off all of the poor poor, about five or seven or so poor poor, try to tackle him, try to restrain him, try to hold him down, try to put all sorts of handcuffs on his hand. During this scuffle or melee, you could hear the explosion of a can. It seems as if the man had somehow taken one of the tools from one of the poor poor and the poor poor then recovered that tool and the man bust up a can. Eventually, they would restrain Reggie, looking all B-L-O-O-D-Y. Police looking all exhausted after trying to tackle this man, trying to restrain him. You could see the people upon the street at work where people are laugh. The kids, elderly people, thought that it was a joke. Until the poor poor finally restrained Reggie after a couple of fights, a couple of brawls upon the streets. Reggie then calmed down there, put some sorts of handcuffs upon Reggie, took Reggie in. I guess Reggie is probably at Bellevue, some one of those wards right now as a resident there. The moral of the story is this. When we Jamaica and the relevant authority put a stop to this, wherein persons are walking around with big stone, persons are walking around with machete, persons are walking around with all sorts of dagger. So we have to ask this question. When did it become normal for people to walk around? with all sorts of harmful weapons, endangering the lives of the citizens of Jamaica. When will the relevant authority actually take a stand, put these people in the appropriate places, as in Bellevue, as in institution? When will these family members report these people, make sure that they are taking their medication, make sure that these people are restrained so that society can be safe? Is it going to take for other persons to lose them life or get injured until something is done? People, me not really know. Point blank and period. Further on in the news, it is called Weedy is Dead. I am speaking about 24-year-old Nakeem Robinson. He is from Burn Savannah that is in St. Elizabeth. On Thursday, about 2.15 in the evening, Nakim was sitting or standing on the road when he was approached by two men, one of them up off a bike, pointed a tool at Mr. Robinson and sprayed bullet at him. He was hit in the head. He fell on the ground. There are a couple of videos making their rounds on social media with him pretty much gasping on his last breath. When people are asked what is the motive, it is said that, well, this youth come from St. Elizabeth, Burn Savannah, like I said before. That is a place that is known for its good ickety stickity, meaning Bob Marley, meaning weed. So it seems as if Mr. Robinson decided that he was going to diversify his portfolio. He was going to dibble and dabble in the weed selling business along with vending. However, it seems as if there was some sorts of disagreement, some sorts of altercation with the next person. That person probably thought that he was coming to take over the turf. So therefore that person decided that he was going to get rid of his problem, his competition. Based on the popo, it is said that the man ride up on a bike, jump off, blaze up some can. As a matter of fact, there was some sort of tussle between Mr. Robinson and the assailant. It is said that the assailant got away, wheel and pop off, blaze up one in a Mr. Robinson head. Mr. Robinson was pretty much D-E-A-D -E on the spot. However, he was pronounced officially D-E-A-D -E at the place of recovery. There was to be no sorts of recovery. Point blank and period. Further on in the news, this is called Jamaica really gone to the dogs. When you look at where Jamaica is coming from, 
wherein the Jamaica dollar, maybe 1970 something, was higher than the US dollar. The US dollar used to be 75 cents or one, 75 cents Jamaican used to equal one US dollar. That is now maybe about 156 to one US dollar. So therefore we are talking about thousands of percentage different in the dollar value. People always I say, yeah, but that a back in the days, that is the problem. Back in the days, people used to have morals, people used to like work, everybody did not want everything the easy way. People valued life, people valued principle. I am going to show you a video. This video is a bit old. I have seen it before a couple of years ago. However, this video is going to appropriately describe exactly what I am speaking about. Look at Jamaica back in the past versus Jamaica right now and then I'll give my piece. This was 65, 70 years ago. You know my mother and father, young boy and young girl days. This is in the 60s and 50s. Look, not even one patrol. Look how clean Jamaica look. All the side road now have no patrol. It's a little side road that not even one patrol. See? These are the moral days, the days with of morals, you know. Look, as I say, everything look clean and orderly. All now me not even see one and cat. Me not see no whole pack garbage and no stall in the road and no 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 whole pack paper in the road and anything. Everything just look clean and nice. See? This was before stoplight. You think say no. A police could have stand up in a boat, a direct traffic, a, a Jamaica. Carry the lick down that and kill that long time. Because them youth and nowadays not orderly. Them not orderly. You understand? Look how everything are going, are going smooth. Everybody just disciplined. Everybody have follow the law and everything are more smooth. As I say, this video have no patrol right through this video. These are the days of, of morals. When a man has sing the same loving woman, and a woman has sing say she love her man. Now, they must sing about deep throat and scamming and duns and one back You understand? At that they must sing about now. Some morals dead. Look on Jamaica now. Look how nasty and dirty downtown. Look. People are spread out clothes upon the road and sell and hand cart and whole heap of garbage upon the road. And it just, it coming like the, the morals level just, just drop. Look upon the whole heap of garbage. When you look at the garbage, no man, garbage like crazy all over the place. You understand what I mean? I say, I jump here this now. We go backwards, man. We go backwards, big time. The, nowadays, a 1600 and 1500 people are get killed every year. Back in the 50s and 60s, a 60 people and 50 people used to get killed every year. So you see, say the morals and the culture change for the worse. Chain for the worst. The video when me show when me, did, when me show you first, you know, was downtown Kingston, you know? and this video when me show you a downtown Kingston. So you see, you see what me I tell you, we reverse a big garbage and box and patrol and people have whole up stall on the sidewalk. Now people, like you hear this man say, you look at the video, Jamaica in the past, you look at the road. The road smooth, no sorts of patrol. Remember, this is 60, 70 years ago the man is talking about. You'd have thought that the technology there was not as great. However, the work that the people put in. When you talk to these politicians that are building the road, are in charge of road work, them tell you, say, it is because of the climate of Jamaica. It is because of rain. Jamaica had the same climate, maybe a couple of degrees less back then. The roads was missing, potholes were missing. So therefore what it tells you is the pride that was in the work. People actually build stuff that lasted. Now these politicians and their contractor, they are hustling Jamaica. So them are hustle, them do a little pitchy patchy work, six months them get a new contract people that is exactly what is going on you also saw that there was a popo in the boat a direct traffic you notice everything was orderly everything was governed now the place is orderly or disorderly and governed by the clansman people we have care now are people we are scam 
gunman, thief, smugglers, everybody just disorderly. Like you hear the man say, you think poor poor wouldn't take them chance with any sorts of boat in the middle of the road, unless of course he is on some sorts of S U I C I D A L mission. You could see the lack of morals in the music are here. There is no sort of dignity, no more pride. People don't value hard work. People want everything the easy way. So therefore the women have resorted, not all of them, to being W-H-O-R-E-S. Instead of doing any sorts of hard work, them are work them out and I put them A-S-S over the counter. So look at Jamaica right now. Jamaica looks like little Haiti or big Haiti, depending on who you ask. Look at the M-U-R-D-E-R rate. 1600, 1400, 1500 annually versus 50, 60, 70 before that. People, what do you think changed? What changed is the economy? What changed is the mindset? What changed is the lazy, bum, criminal-minded people that are there? And this includes our politician, point blank and period. So anyways, people... Thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Bless up.